Welcome back here to our TWSWA portal tutorials. And this one may be a little shorter. We're just going to look at schedules in this episode. We're logged in here as our test school. And under schedules, we're going to see a list of all of the sports that we have activated under active sports. And I'm going to choose baseball. Now, there are several notes here at the bottom of the screen. I'm going to go over each of these uh, because this, this is another uh, change that uh, will, will appear to be different than what you may be used to. On the new TSSAA portal, uh, all of the games are in one bin. You're actually seeing uh, games that your opponent has put in for you. Um, games your opponents enter will simultaneously and automatically fill your school's schedules and vice versa. So let's say for instance that we're going to add a game here. I don't really care what day it is. The game time is optional. So once our details are in, we'll click Add Game. We get confirmation that the game was in fact saved. And we have a live schedule on the right hand side of the page. And this will update as you add games. It will show you games that are already in your system. If we go back to the full schedule, we'll get a nicer, more printable version of this schedule. What it means, uh, what I said earlier, is that when I put this game in, uh, since my school is playing Bradley Central, if I'm Bradley Central and I go in to their baseball schedule, I'm going to see that game against uh, this test school, which is Hillsboro. And the way that we have it right now is that only the school that added the game can actually delete the game. Uh, either school can edit it, but in terms of removing it from the schedule, uh, the game is owned by the person that adds it. Now that may change later, but uh, that's that's just the way it is right now. Uh, region and district games are denoted with an asterisk. If it's a neutral site game, it'll have an N on it. If you notice a time or a date that doesn't look correct, or if you've added a game, uh, let's say your opponent has added the game on a Thursday and you have it on your schedule as a Friday, so you actually have two games against the same opponent on two different dates, or maybe the time is wrong, you need to contact the opponent's athletic director and get on the same page on that and figure out when the game actually is and and get your schedules corrected so that it reflects what's actually going to happen. We'd hate for people to show up on the wrong day or at the wrong time when it's not necessary. If I wanted to edit this game, let's say it's a road game instead of a home game, I'll click Edit, change it to Away, and save the changes. So now we're at Bradley Central.